Hello, my dear knife fans. On the 29th of April 2020, I read an article in a very popular knife magazine, Knife News. The article was about launching a pretty fascinating project on the basis of Kickstarter platform. Basically, the project concept was to collect some money for producing a cyberpunk knife called Inertics. What a knickknack, I thought. But that knife resembles me something. Holy Moses! So I can't believe it. Mechanical concept of operation. All basic design features down to screw spline keys were completely copycatted our knife. Cyrex. In fact, our company has been producing that knife since 2018. I decided to clear up the point. I started surfing the net to find out whatever I can. It turns out that the knife's author, if I could say so about him, is a certain Alexander Krivashea. What are the achievements of this pioneer? Well, let's have a look. Amazingly, in the net, there are no facts about his other projects relating to knives. Moreover, an advert of that so-called designer starts with his sacramental words, I can't stand knives. I do not like knives. Well, in that case, the question is, who forced you to do that dirty, heady job? It turned out that it was just a commercial project robbery the studio skimming money from people. By the way, in the net, there is no information about that firm as well. Frankly speaking, spy games and secrets of the Spanish court at one. After that, I decided to go on with my investigation. And who else participated in creating Roboraiser company? The second co-founder of the Roboraiser is Igor Fastenko. Thank goodness, that's a relief, I thought. This highly respected gentleman would certainly leave some traces in the net. Just look, he's both a startupper, a promoter and a designer. I would say he's Mr. Fixit. He is a head cook and bottle washer. He has already withdrawn money, sorry, collected money from people for his own project Enjoy the Wood. Guess how? The pressure is on, you are right, thanks to Kickstart platform. However, his participation in Robo Razor Studio project is very modest and simple. That's why I couldn't make a point of him at first. It is worth of note that it's absolutely odd for him. As to enjoy the wood, he promoted that project showing up at the right places the whole nine yards. What's up, Igor? And now you don't want to be in the people's mind as a copycat? But obviously it's a hack job. Anyone can see that stuff in all his commercials and adverts. It seems to me that Krivashe is a man of straw or a fictive character. And sure enough that a non-fictional and true person of Robo Razor Studio is Igor Fostenka. But it's just my wild guess and nothing else. So, a bit of mini summary. Well, who should I say thousands of thanks for promoting my brand and design behind my back and without mentioning the original author? It appears that two businessmen, Alexander Krivashe and Igor Fostenka, lined up and then they created Robo Razor project on the basis of Kickstart platform. After that, they started withdrawing money from people, advertising themselves in Knife News magazine and other mass media. I posted an article in my Instagram suggesting our subscribers to express their opinion. Next, I published that article on our four official pages of our brand. And not worth a thing that Robo Razor Studio has an official page in Instagram either. But that company had far-sightedly blocked our pages. The main page Maria Stalina and company owner's page Alexander Stalin. For what? I don't know. But I can make a guess. Apparently, they wanted to give a surprise. Or perhaps they were afraid that I could keep them from stealing our design. Well, once again, I posted a blog on four pages and I got approximately 200 reviews from knife fans and followers criticizing and disapproving copycatting. And I was in total disbelief when I got a message from Robo Razor Company. It was written in English. Then I got a letter from Alexander Krivashe that was written in Ukrainian. Thus, it's absolutely clear and obvious that both gentlemen are aware of our design and they both admit that our design was created long before their knife. In fact, they both admit that they used our design and construction arrangement, but they don't want to admit that their act was absolutely illegal. These advanced masters of promotion claim that their sample is much simpler and differs from our knife on 60%. Well, I decided to add Speedy and wrote an official claim to the Kickstarter. In this letter, I went into details and gave full-length information about this case. In two days, I got a feedback from Kickstarter company. The Kickstarter authorities say that Robo Razor company doesn't break the rules of the Kickstarter company.
I'm trying to understand and get a sense of all that stuff. How is that? What is the magic tool that helps to make or get away with stealing someone's belongings and ideas without mentioning the real creator? What magic tool helps these people to create questionable things with low quality? Just believe my long experience. As I can see in the photo, that quality of this item won't satisfy the customer. And moreover, this sample is overpriced by times. Just have a look. These are the ratings and reviews of Kickstarter. All forums analyzing companies' ratings show that Kickstarter's ratings are not over 20%. And here we can see reviews from customers. The core focus is, Kickstarters is a cheating firm, it never cares about its clients and consumers. And dicing on the cake, customers complain about money losses. In addition, at present, on the Kickstarter platform, an Arctic's project has already collected around... It's rather an honest way, if I can say so. What else to say? Take care of yourself, take care of your health and your family, and look after your savings. Don't buy phony things. Thanks to all who supported us. Thanks for your comments, calls, messages and mails. Special thanks to Lee Lerman, Oleg Tarasenko, Natya Amor, Brutalika, and personally to Alexey Ponomarevo. Forever yours, Maria Stalina.